Hello and welcome. Keeping security policies up to date in today's dynamic network environment is an important yet tedious mission. Activities such as replacing an old server with a new one or adding hardware to support business expansion happen frequently and require you to update relevant security policies with newly added servers. Manually adding new servers to all relevant policy rules is time consuming and error prone. Tufin offers a more efficient approach by duplicating access permissions from an existing network object to the newly added network object using the clone network object policy workflow. In this video, I'll show you how to copy access permissions of an existing server, subnet, or network range to a new server, subnet, or network range. I'll demonstrate how you can design, provision, and verify this action with just a few simple clicks while reducing risk and increasing team efficiency. Let's see how. In Secure Change, open a new request. Select Clone Network Object Policy. From here, enter the subject. Now we're going to type the network address of the existing servers, subnet, or network range. Then, type the network addresses of the new servers, subnet, or network range. From there, submit the request. In step two, we'll review the request details and approve. Step three, from here, we'll use Designer to get recommendations for policy changes and review Designer recommendations. Now, click the View Rule link to review rule change details. The recommended changes are highlighted. After provisioning policy changes, use Verifier to verify the changes. You'll notice that rule changes are highlighted so you can focus on the main issues. After that, we're done. To summarize, keeping security policies up to date in a dynamic network environment doesn't have to be a burden on your team. The Clone Network Object Policy Workflow helps you save time and eliminate errors by duplicating access permissions from an existing server, subnet, or network range to a newly added server, subnet, or network range. Well, that takes us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Tufin video.